Okay, extracting the wisdom so it can actually be used. Got my funky shirt on here from Spell. Uh, my wife works for Spell, so she was like, why don't you wear the cool shirt that I got you? Uh, I, I had to go to get my tire fixed because this giant screw thing got stuck in it and it was losing. And they were like, are you a math teacher? And I'm like, no, but I get it. I get it. Like normally I wear uh, a blue linen shirt, very plain, very professional, but today, for whatever reason, it was like, let's give it a different uh, vibe. I want to let you know that I have been, uh, let me let me see if we can actually get this. So we got double screens, hallelujah. But uh, on this side here is our test patient, and let me see if I can do this. This is a little tricky, but in here, in this history section, we have all of these shortcuts. Most of them have strange acronyms, and uh, I mean, you can see just how many there are. Um, but when you click these, uh, some stuff happens. Uh, let's let's try. Um, I don't know where was that up to. Uh, goodness, let's try medical cannabis to see what happens here. There is all of this information that some doctors over the years have gone through and put in there. The problem is that only they know what's in there. And even then, if you go on holidays for four or six weeks, it's likely to fall away. It doesn't get updated. So my thoughts have been like, you know what? How about we extract some of this information and get it in a more usable form, review it, and then not put it in this at all because this, these names, it's very difficult to actually use. Even the design of it, it's not searchable. It's not updatable. It's very much some jargon that most other people aren't going to use. I'm like, you know what? How about if we bring it across into something that is usable, like a wiki? But I tried that. But as I went through, I'm like, oh, you know what? This actually needs some work. And so I'm, First of all, extracting out all of these and sticking them into the very useful Google Doc. And from there, perhaps going through, hopefully with the help of the other doctors in the practice and say, hey, what do you think? Maybe we should make these templates because these templates and all this work is extremely useful. Somebody over the years has spent a lot of time building this stuff and it is not being used and it's not that useful and it would be great if it was. So we're going to need to do some work, some tidy up work. This basically is a system that has decayed and really its functionality in the first place was pretty low, but it still has a lot of wisdom in it. There are, a, there's a lot of things that have been put in here for red flags, for checklists, for all sorts of stuff. And getting that out and getting it usable increases the value of that information vastly. Right now, as it sits in Genie, which is our program that we use, it's valued pretty low. I'm not using it. I don't know if any of the other doctors are using it. Probably not. It's just sitting there wasted. And to get it to a usable state, actually, it's going to take some work. Probably more work than uh, I'm up for personally. But to share the workload and then all of us benefit in the practice and the patients who come to this practice benefit, it starts to become a valuable project. It's something that we can say, you know what, this actually makes a difference. But only if the long-term outcome is that doctors can use these templates to get better work done. You see, if nothing changes, if we do all this work and we still don't use the templates, what's the purpose? But for me, at least, there is an extraction process, an editing process, and an uploading process to something that is far more usable that is searchable, that is identifiable, that I can just copy and paste and bring it across, drop it into notes and then consult, this has significant more value than it does right now. Now, you may be on best practice, you may be on medical director, perhaps your systems are designed better than this. But Genie is fascinating because it hides information all over the place. There's all sorts of places you can do things. And I think they go, they thought this was being really functional. But what it does, it means that it's very hard to find anything. And so it doesn't get done. All right. So my work at the moment, and uh, as we go along, we'll see how this plays out. But at least extracting all of this information, have a look at what we've got. Is there value here? And then from there, making another decision, should there be an investment of time and effort and energy into making these better so that patient care improves? I'll let you be updated on that as we go along. I'm just going to do the first little bit, which is extract all the data, 
then take it to the practice manager, say, hey, practice manager, what do you think? Is there some value here? Take it to the other doctors. Do you think there's value here? And see what happens from there. All right, that's all I've got for you today. I'm going to jump back into consulting. Had a little break because uh, I got through a patient on time or ahead of time. It was a, it was a good consult it was in Patigo. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know as we go along. Talk to you then.